all right gonna show you that if you're observing Halloween if you're a Christian you're whoring after other gods and yes that is a scriptural term whoring after other gods I'm gonna show you from the Word of God what God himself said what Jehovah God himself says about when someone goes whoring after another god, when one of his, when some of his people going whoring after other gods. Now, obviously, we're not Israelites under the law, but you get what I'm saying. This is instruction of righteousness for today. Why you shouldn't be going whoring after other gods, even if you're not openly doing it or aware of yourself doing it. When you celebrate Halloween, you are whoring after other gods. So let's get right into the scriptures. First, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after other, after the gods of the strangers of the land, whether they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. So, God is saying that they're going to go whoring after other gods and break the covenant He made with them. Now let's see what God says about how He deals with those Israelites. You know how he deals with with his people when they would go whoring after other gods. Judges chapter two verse seventeen. And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves unto them. They turn, uh, they they turn quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. And God, he doesn't like that. He's going to pour out wrath on them, you know, as we read on in scripture, when they go whoring after other gods. Same thing when a Christian goes after Halloween. When they observe Halloween, they're whoring after other gods, and God will have to chasten them if they don't repent. Instruction righteousness for today is definitely there. Uh, Joshua chapter 23, verse 16. When ye have transgressed the covenant of the Lord your God, when he, which he commanded you, and have gone and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them, then shall the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and ye shall perish quickly from off the good land which he hath given unto you. You know, no different when a Christian celebrates Halloween, when a professing Christian nation like America is observing Halloween. You know? If you're an individual, because obviously God deals with Christians individually, but when you're observing Halloween, God will have to chasten you because you're observing hell's holy day, the holy day of the devil, the holy day of witches and occultists. You know, you're whoring after other gods, whether you admit it or not, you're whoring after other gods, which are nothing more than just familiar spirits, the devil spirits, that's what they are. First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 25. And they have transgressed against the God of their fathers, and went whoring after the gods of the people of the land, whom God destroyed before them. Second Chronicles chapter twenty-eight, verse twenty-five. And in every city, and in every several city of Judah, he made high places to burn incense unto other gods, and provoked to anger the Lord God of his fathers. Second Chronicles chapter 34 verse 25 Because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands, therefore my wrath shall be poured out upon this place and shall not be quenched. And Second Kings chapter 22 verse 17 Because they have forsaken me, and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands, therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place, and shall not be quenched. You see, if you're celebrating Halloween, there's going to be the wrath of God coming upon your home. Okay, You won't lose your salvation, because you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, according to Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, and 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. But you can have some severe chasing. You can lose your health, you can lose spiritual joy, you can lose... Uh, you can lose your finances. You can even lose the rewards of the judgment seat of Christ. The chasing of God can be quite severe at times, and you will receive it if you are into Halloween and unrepentant of it, because it is a, a pagan occult holiday of human sacrifice, like I showed in my video about the satanic occult roots of Halloween. Halloween is no holiday that any Bible-believing Christian ought to have anything to do with. It is a Halloween of... Uh, it's, it's Satan's high day, I'll put it that way. It's the holy day of the underworld. 
That's what it is. And Halloween is just that from the pit of hell. And Halloween is a day of human sacrifice. Again, like I showed in my video, they should they sacrifice humans back in the Druidic Celtic pagan days. So if you're a Christian, you have no reason celebrating Halloween because you are whoring after other gods, whether you like it or not, whether you you know acknowledge that or not. Same thing with Christmas too. When you're when you're observing Christmas, you are whoring after other gods. Christmas is every bit as pagan and wicked as Halloween. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.